what's happening um trying a little bit new light here so we'll see how that goes but continuing with the html tutorial uh basically what we're going to do here is go over a few attributes especially the image attribute and just a few things you can do with it um basically in html in a lot of cases you're going to want to be using images and the way that you go about that is with another tag which is basically image and then the attribute is going to be the source um, with that being said, you're basically putting in the HTML where your file is located. So in this case, we have our file here, which is our um, HTML.png, and I have the actual location right here, which I will just carry over. And putting that in here, you will see now that in the browser, it's going to pull... Oops, let's see what we did here. I didn't close it, so let's just go ahead and close our tag. Um, you will see that the image here is populated. So basically in HTML, in a lot of cases, you're going to be using the image attribute, or I should say the source attribute, which is drawing the file. So here's a few other things you're able to do with it. You're able to give it a title, which is important with the alt tag. And within there is basically whatever the image is going to be called. So why don't we just call this HTML image? Um, this is good for both SEO as far as what Google is able to read. Um, and it's also good as far as what maybe handicapped people and uh, people with disabilities are able to pick up on the images that they can't see. Um, continuing with that, let's go into the width, which is basically a size characteristic. And you'll see that we're able to give it however many pixels. So let's put 45. Um, and then let's also put a height of 45 pixels. And basically what that's going to do now when we go back over here to our browser is no, this is the original size that we brought the image in at, whether it was photoshopped or just taken from the internet or taken from your phone. But now we've added a width and height attribute, which is actually going to change this. So why don't we take a look at that real quick? There we go. So there you go. It's, it's definitely changed the size of the image. Um, Another popular tag that I want to just talk about real quick is going to be the href. So basically starting with the href is A for anchor and href is going to be your link tag. Um, basically any link that we put in here now is going to draw link within HTML. So why don't we just go here to we'll put in our personal website. Hunterlovedesign.com uh, and we'll close this and now in between these tags is what's going to show on the browser so in this case why don't we just put our name of our business Final Web Design Inc and now when we go over here what we've done is we've again we've used this uh, attribute the href and we basically made a link here and now if we open this link it, it's linking to finalwebdesign.com so if this